In this first video on making connections, we are going to be taking a look at how to complement FL Studio by connecting to a wide variety of third party applications. FL Studio allows you to run in perfect sync with your application of choice in one of two methods. The first is via Rewire. Rewire has two modes, host mode and client mode. And while most applications will allow it to be one or the other, FL Studio can be either, allowing greater flexibility where your third party application may only support one of the two modes. For those that may not be familiar with what Rewire is, Rewire is a technology developed between Propellerheads and Steinberg, initially as a way to synchronize the application Rebirth with the application Cubase, so that when you begin playback on one application, the other application would also begin playback. But it did not stop there. It was also able to pass the client's audio output in the mixture of the host application. Since then, this technology has matured into a standard in most recording applications as well as most synthesis applications. Let's first look at using FL Studio as a client from your host application. Now depending on your host, there is a number of ways to do this. For the sake of this video, I'm going to demonstrate doing this from a few rewire host applications. If your host is not covered here, please consult your application's documentation for further details. I'm going to start by adding the FL Studio Rewire client to Steinberg's new window. From the Devices menu, select FL Studio. From this window, you can select the number of audio channels that you would like to pipe between Nuendo and FL Studio. The amount of channels you enable will depend mostly on where you'll be doing most of your mixing. If you plan to mix all of FL Studio's audio within FL Studio, then you would only need to enable the master stereo output, in other words, the first two channels. If your goal is to mix within the host application, then it might be a better idea to enable several channels. Once you have enabled the desired number of channels, the only thing left to do is to launch FL Studio. When FL Studio is started up, it will notice that you are running a rewire host application and set itself to run in rewire client mode. The first thing you may notice is that FL Studio loads, you'll have a floating window with the FL Studio logo. Clicking on this logo will reveal the FL Studio interface. From here, you would operate from this program per normal. To go back to your host, simply click on the logo again in the floating window. Now this is how to use FL Studio in conjunction with a third party application that is a rewire host. However, what if you wanted to use FL Studio alongside a client application? This is also possible. To do this, start FL Studio per normal. Just make sure to launch it before you launch your rewire client application. This will ensure that the FL Studio is in rewire host mode. To make the connection to your rewire client, you need to create a rewire channel in FL Studio. Do this by clicking on Channels, then Add One, and finally Rewired. Now once the channel is set up, you will next need to select which rewired client application on your system you wish to use for this channel. This is done by opening the channel settings for the rewired channel, and from the Plugin tab, select the application from the Client menu. You do not need to worry about locating the application as FL Studio can automatically scan your system for any rewire client application and add this to the menu list. Therefore, the apps you see here will be different on your machine depending on which clients you have installed. With FL Studio in host mode, any rewire application you launch afterwards will be placed into rewire client mode by default. With FL Studio set up as your rewire host, you can now lock it up to your client so that the audio output from that client is routed to the FL Studio's mixer. Once you have selected and assigned a client to this channel, click on the Show Panel button to launch the client application. This makes it easier for you to access the client without having to go through the Start menu to locate it. Once the interface for your client application is open, FL Studio will be locked in perfect sync with it and the output from that client will be returned to this channel on FL Studio's mixer. Upon start and playback in FL Studio, your client will also begin playback. Your client will follow FL Studio. Therefore, if you're playing FL Studio in pattern mode, then the rewire client will also loop its playback, as well as when in song mode. Playback will depend on patterns assigned to the playlist. I should also point out that the connection between the two apps will remain as long as the client remains open. 
Closing the client window will break the connection. In this video, we took a look at making connections to third-party applications using Rewire in both client and host modes. In the next video, we're going to take a look at making connections to other applications by using the VST instrument within a host application.